What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Xavier Ashton, aka Ash Royale, back here again with another video. And as you can see from the title down below, I'm going to be showing you guys the best vlogging setup that you can get for about a thousand dollars. So let's get into today's video. Today's video. So my camera choice for this thousand dollar setup was the Sony ZV E10. And then the lens that I picked up to complete the combo is the Notorious Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. This lens is just astonishing. So at the time of recording this video, which is December 18th, you can get the Sony ZV E10. I don't know why they named it that long ass name, but whatever. But since this is an interchangeable lens camera, so for the body only, it's gonna cost you $700 retail. No sale on the camera, but this is where the steel comes from. So this Sigma 16 1.4, originally I believe is about $620. If you go to Amazon right now, once again, December 18th, this lens is selling for $350. So that's where the steel comes from. Um, like I said, so $700 plus $350, uh, you know, $1,050. So like I said, a $1,000 camera setup, you're just paying an extra 50 bucks. But this combo is a deadly combo. Don't need this. So in the box you get your charging block, the charging cable, which is USB-A to USB-C, the dead cat for the internal mic, camera strap, the camera battery, and these are the small camera batteries. Yeah, this is the FW50. So these are like the same batteries, I believe that's on the A series before they went to the bigger batteries. These things die out like so quick. And last but not least, the camera. Okay, so my first impressions with this camera is gonna be a bit biased only because I only own three cameras in my life, two of them being Sony, one of them being Canon. My first Canon camera ever was the Canon T6i. Then I moved to the Sony a7 III, which is back there. I don't even really use it anymore. You guys can see it. And I'm recording with the Sony a7 IV, which is my third camera. Um, so this will be my second crop sensor camera other than the Canon T6i that I've got rid of a long time ago. But build quality of this is definitely not the same as a full frame sony camera this is giving me a more plastic feel um the other thing that i realized is this grip is not really that great but this is ticketed to be well, i said ticketed my fault targeted to be a vlogging camera um i don't believe you're typically going to be holding the camera like this you know what i mean you probably will have like a joby tripod or that vlogging tripod that they uh like promote with this setup so the grip i mean it's whatever because i don't really see anybody using it unless you're going to be using this for pictures but, but once you get past the build quality this is a great camera it is a 24 megapixel camera as you can see it has that one inch crop sensor in there so moving on to the ports that you're getting on this camera on the side top port you're getting a external microphone jack right there and then when you open up this bottom door you're getting a usb-c jack a mini hdmi jack and then you're getting a headphone jack which is also pretty neat so on the top of the camera you have that new hot shoe so if you have any sony mics or sony accessories you know you could use the hot shoe you don't have to plug like the mic in and everything and it'll still work you have the internal microphone right here which i heard is actually pretty good and then on top you have your power on and off switch you have the mode button right here so you know they don't give you a dial so to hit this button you'll go from taking pictures video and then s and q mode you have your big red record button right here you have the background defocus which is like background blur button right here um it basically just whatever lens you have it just puts it down to the lowest aperture so that's like a little neat shortcut and then right here you have your zoom rocker which i don't know why anybody would use this but whatever and then once again, if you're taking pictures, you have your shutter button right here. And last but not least, what kind of vlogging camera would this be if you didn't have the flip out screen? So with that being said, that's all the external features on the camera. I actually got to charge this because, you know, I got a dead battery. But let's get into the lens. No need that. Look at that beauty. Oh, wait, it got plastic on it. Hold on. Whew, man, that Sigma 16 1.4 wide lens. A beautiful lens honestly it's a very notorious lens a lot of vloggers a lot of people in general use this lens i love sigma lenses the lens that i'm recording right now is the sigma 24 to 70 um 2.8 i wanted to get a g master but too expensive for half the price you still get good clarity everything on a sigma lens is crazy sharp so you're always going to get that and they're built tough to last so i mean if you watch any of my youtube videos this is what i record all my youtube videos on 
So uh, nice to have another Sigma in the family. Okay, so while that camera's charging, I might as well show you guys how big this lens stacked to other lenses. Mind you, this is an APC lens. So 16, 1.4. This is a Sony 85, 1.8. And I guess that's the best way I can show you guys. This lens is so much bigger than a full frame 85, 1.8. And then just for, you know, like little shits and giggles, this is a 50 1.8. So it's like two of these, man. So, and mind you, like I said, this is an APC sensor camera, which if you don't know, means crop sensor camera. So technically I won't even be getting a 16. I'll kind of be getting like a 23, 24, and I won't even be getting 1.4. I believe it's a 2.0. So um, on a crop sensor, yes, like I said, this is a 16 1.4, but on a crop, I'm getting like a 24 2.0, which leads me into, is this set up for everybody? Right here, I have my Sony a7 III, only for demonstration because I'm using my Sony a7 IV. Now, Sony a7 III, let me grab the ZV-E10. So once again, I have the Sony a7 III, Sony ZV-E10. So as you can see, the size in comparison between these two is just amazing like look how small this sony zv e10 is compared to sony a7 III. let me just put it like that like it's crazy how small this camera is compared to its big brother which leads me to say when you're vlogging with a full frame camera it is a big camera which usually because it's full frame you're going to have big lenses now when i was vlogging with the sony a7 III or the sony a7 IV, I always had that 24 to 70, which isn't a vlogging lens, but I just made it work. But it was a big setup. It was a heavy rig and you couldn't be incognito. Like you couldn't be sneaking around. It's, it's, it's a big setup. You know what I mean? Then you have this, which is so little. Like you see this just fits in my hand like a cell phone. I think my iPhone is bigger than this. But as you can see, small and compact compared to this. And mind you, I don't even have a lens in these. So now with that being said, it's up to the vlogger. If you want to sacrifice size for quality, you will go APC. You're not going to get that same quality as a full frame camera, but the full frame camera is bigger. That being said, this is the part where I kind of just drove myself insane because like I said, this setup cost me about a thousand dollars, but look how neat and small this setup is, right? Now, the biggest thing about this setup is the lens. Like I said, this lens is huge. But still, look how compact this setup is, right? Compared to this. Now I'm using the Sony 85 for a demo because Sony launched a lens which is a 20 millimeter 1.8, which is basically the same size as the 85. It's smaller than the Sigma and it retails for $900. But at the time of recording this video, it's on sale for $800. So like I said, I bought this whole setup for $1,000. If I would've just bought that lens, it would've cost me $800. I already have the camera. But once again, am I sacrificing size for quality? Because when I'm looking at it now, this lens is crazy overpowering this little ass camera. But if I could deal with this, because that Sony 20 is the same size, I still get my 20 millimeters rather than 24. So I get that ultra wide, well not really ultra wide, but wide. And I get 1.8 rather than 2.0. So I get more depth of field. Now back to the Sony ZV-E10. I'm not gonna talk bad about this camera because in actuality, it is a great camera. First things first, like I said, small and compact. It has a 24 megapixel sensor. It could shoot 4K up to 30 frames per second, which is great. And also for slow motion, it's 1080 at 120 frames per second. It has a great autofocus system because it uses the eye tracking system like the Sony full frames. It also has Sony picture profile. So you can actually use this for a B cam for your Sony a7 IV. This also could be easily set up as a webcam because it's just plug and play. And last but not least, probably the best feature out of all these features, I wish my Sony a7 IV had this feature, is product showcase. So basically, you know, when I'm talking and I do this, I have to cover my face and then it focuses on the product, right? That's because the focusing system on these full frame cameras is so crazy with the eyes that I could do this and it's gonna have a hard time trying to focus on this. It's always gonna focus on me, which is a great thing. But when you're trying to showcase a product, this has it. If I just put it up, I'm gonna show you in the demo, but if I just put it up, it'll automatically focus on a product, put it down, it'll focus on me. I wish I had that in my full frame Sony camera. It's just a great tool to have. So of course, with all those pros, you're gonna have some cons, but to be honest with you guys, I really don't see any cons with this camera other than the fact of rolling shutter. So um, one thing about rolling shutter, if you guys don't know, basically if you're moving too fast like this, 
your picture will kind of bend because the camera is not catching up with the movement. So, um, which is weird that a vlogging camera like this would be targeted for vloggers if it had rolling shutter issues because, you know, vloggers are always on the move. But um, I, like I said, I feel like that's really the only con other than, you know, the little plastic body, but you're getting what you pay for. It's $700. So like, come on now. Now I'm gonna say this last thing and then the rest of the video is gonna be recorded off the ZV-E10. Um, if you don't wanna pay $1,000, another alternative would be the ZV-1. It's originally $750, so it's $50 more than this camera, but right now it's on sale for $650. Um, the reason why I say it's alternative is because the ZV-1 is a point and shoot camera, so it doesn't have interchangeable lenses. Um, of course, if you want the best quality on your videos, you're gonna want an interchangeable lens. But if you're just starting out, you don't want to deal with all the bokeh and different frame, my fault, not frame rates, focal lengths and uh, f-stops and all that. If you just want to point and shoot, you want to record a video, just vlog, that will be the perfect camera for you. Like I said, 650. And because it has the integrated lens, I believe it doesn't have that roller shutter problem. That was the whole reason for me saying that. But yes. So with that being said, the rest of the video is going to be shot on this ZV-E10. So uh, let's get into it. So we're now recording on the Sony ZV-E10. I'm gonna be taking you guys on a little errand that I'm gonna to have to run today, which is really nothing. I'm going to Best Buy. I'm gonna get some Gobi like light strips to put underneath my kitchen cabinet. They're half off, so might as well buy them now. Um, and then I'm gonna be showing you guys like the little features that are on here as we go throughout the video. So um, I might as well show you guys a little drip check cause you know, this still is a style and like kicks YouTube channel. But um, as you can see, the rig that I'm rocking right now, Sony ZV-E10, the 16 millimeter. I got the Rode Pro and then the Joby tripod. Not a heavy setup. Still has some weight to it, but it's not as heavy as I'm gonna use like a full frame camera, like I said earlier in the video. But starting off, we got, uh, cause you know my hair right now is cooked right now. I need a cut. So hat from Culture Kings. I believe this is the 950, whatever the K cap, I believe I think it's called, the K cap. Um, then we got a denim jacket from Fear God Essentials, Essentials hoodie, and that uh, rain drum Essence exclusive, some green cargos. I believe these are from H&M. And then to finish it off, we got the Mocha ones. So uh, like I said, I flipped that around. Um, I'm gonna be going to Best Buy to show you guys. Uh, I said show you guys. Basically, I'm going to Best Buy. I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna get these uh, LED light strips so I can light up my kitchen. So uh, see you guys in the car. Bro, it is freezing, bro. I, I don't know. Next year after I move out of this apartment, I think, I think I'm going down south, bro. It is freezing. Why my, why my skin look? I'm brown skin. Why I'm looking? I don't know, but. All right, so I'm gonna hit you up when I get the Best Buy. All right, guys, so I just got the Best Buy. I'm about to pick up these lights. But one thing that I forgot in the review, and the only reason why I remember is because I was talking about my skin tone, is this camera has like skin softness. So right now, I don't know if you're gonna see the difference. It's on low. And then if I go right here, that's on mid. And then if I bring it up one more, it's like the highest one, yeah, high. So basically it's supposed to give you soft skin. This is uh, basically would be good for like beauty vloggers and people that do makeup and everything. So like I said, this also doesn't have to be a vlogging camera. This can be your main camera just for the fact of that. So, you know, something for the ladies, but uh, we gonna turn this off cause I don't need that. You know, my skin be looking rough, but uh, I don't need that. Hold on, put it on off. All right, so uh, let's go on to Best Buy. All right, so I'm in Best Buy and actually I went to the camera section cause I was gonna pick up a new battery. But as you can see, this is the camera that I was talking about, that ZV-1. So this is like this little point and shoot camera, fixed lens. But as you can see, like I said, $650. So that would be like your best bet if you just need to vlog and you don't want an interchangeable lens. This is honestly why I hate coming into Best Buy because every time when I come in here, I, I start like wanting to buy unnecessary stuff that I don't need because I got these, these nano mini triangles. But I'm thinking about getting the big ones. But uh, but I really mess with these, these elements. So it's like wood panels and everything. So they like light up like the nano leaves, but these are like wood elements. So it gives you that like, you know, that calm vibe, you know, just to your room. 
kind of rambling right here. Let me look for these lights I actually came in here for. Okay, so I found what I was looking for, the LED light strip right here that's gonna go in the kitchen cabinets. And then I actually even found this. So this goes on your TV. It actually has a camera on the top and it'll pour, like show, it just copies whatever colors are on the TV and it'll portray it on the wall. So I'm actually thinking about getting this too. Ugh. All right, so I just bought the LED light strip because maybe product showcase? No, it's not gonna be able to do it right now. But I bought the LED light strip. I was gonna buy the TV strip, but then I thought about it. It needed an AC power. And then I put like that levit. So I, we have a levitating like TV stand and I already like drilled it into the wall. So I don't know how I was gonna reroute that power, but um, I'm gonna go home, check it out. And if I'm able to do it, I'm definitely gonna come back and get that because that was pretty cool. But um, I'm gonna go back to the crib and set this up. So I'll see y'all when I get back to the crib. I just want to say sorry in advance if some of that footage looked bad because now looking at my settings, they were messed up. They went into like auto mode. I had it on manual. It is what it is. I just want to show you guys the product showcase feature real quick. So let me just sit you guys here real quick. Whoop, almost dropped that. One sec. So like I said, technically how this feature works, I put something in front of my face. It focuses on that. I move it away. It focuses on my face. It's supposed to happen real fast. All right, here we go. Like I said, is it working? I won't know until post. But that's how it's supposed to go. I don't know why it looks so dark, but I'm about to install these lights. I'll be with y'all shortly. All right, so I just gotta hook this up to the Gobi app. It's connecting right now. It's telling me to shut it off. There we go. It's blinking, so now you know it's connected. All right, guys, so I'm in the dark right now. I'm about to show you guys these lights. I finally got them set up. I got them all updated. So boom, let's turn these on. Mission complete. Got the red going on right now. Uh, as you know, for any like Gobi products, they basically give you like eight presets. So we got red starting, going to the orange, yellow, green, blue, teal, purple, and then white, which is in the middle of that temperature, the, you know, like the color temperature. So you go all the way to the warm white, which gives you that more orange tint. And then you can go all the way to the cold white, which gives you that, you know, bluish tint. But I'm going to go back to the red. And with that being said, this is basically going to be the end of the video. I hope I show you guys, like, enough things that you could do with this camera. Like I said, perfect vlog setup if, you know, you're just basically... Ooh, I'm real dark right now. Hold on. I keep forgetting about the light up top. It keeps messing up my exposure. But as you can see, like I said, camera, small form factor, the perfect vlogging camera for $1,000. I hope I was able to show you guys all the features and all the real world things, real world things that you could do with this camera. And um, until next video, guys, it's your boy Ash Royale. I'm signing out of here. Peace.